Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New England Patriots. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. Flush to his right. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Boy, an aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just a little bit too long. He made a nice play on the ball defensively and was able to pick it off. On first and 10, it's Swift. He's got it to the 43 here. Second down and eight. Once again, it's Swift. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. This would have been a 54-yard boot had they tried a field goal, but they will not try a field goal. They're going for it. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. the first down as they begin the drive remember last time out they threw the interception on their first drive good news their defense backed him up so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession yeah and one great way to judge a defense how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden you know it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try to put out the fire give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points excellent job by them defensively Throwing Jones. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. back in completions and that has him staring at a third and ten they'll run it this is Ramondre Stevenson has strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down first 
Running the jet sweep, Thornton. And that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. Now Jones. A throw on the money to Rager. A big play there for New England. 48 yards. Here we go now on first and goal. Now Jones wants to change it up. The tight end Henry here in motion. Stevenson will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Here we go. 11, 11. One of the tight ends comes in motion. On second and goal, Jones escaping the under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Buying time to his left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. I'm thinking of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them at the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. No score after one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Second and nine. They toss this out right to Gainwell. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. No, the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Hurts. That escapes the set, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Can't give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. 
On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Well, he's certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20, but instead it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And it's been a miserable start for them. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a letdown there, and this will stay a six point ball game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. first down as they begin the drive they're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control let's see if they can get things back on track and this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team add one tell me once you know when we're having a tough patch this two shall pass this two shall pass and it finally kept having a rough patch he said but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass and that's what they have to do they've got to get some control back get themselves reasserted and calm things down see if they can get calm and reassert themselves here and he is going to lose yardage here it'll be a loss of two maybe three on the play and they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Now look at this. Fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They're going to try and throw, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only... That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. 
Here's Jones on first and ten. That'll be caught. It's Rager. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Jones dancing to his left. This ball complete to Rager. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Jones looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Second and 10. Here we go. 11, 11. Throwing again. Jones. Flushed out right. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson from 10 yards out. And the Patriots get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And this is back to a five-point game. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Philly offense set to go. 
And Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On the handoff, this is Swift. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 107 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Partner, those are back-to-back -back six yard runs and if they're going to continue to get those types of plays shoot you just keep running the same stuff don't you yeah it was first and ten then second and four now first and ten again two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten This is Swift on the counter. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. They'll run here with Swift. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Third and five. Penny on the toss right. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Watkins diving. He's got it. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Running is Swift. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. From the 25, here's second and four. Throwing his hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Touchdown! Quez Watkins. 
25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Reed Blankenship, and the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Juwan Bentley was the one who found his way through and finished off that play. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. 63, 63, 63. Here's Hurts to throw. Being chased out left. And he is caught. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it.